Hey guys, and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial here on psdevelop.com uh, YouTube channel. And uh, this is uh, just a quick tutorial to show you how you can uh, draw this uh, abstract pattern um, in Photoshop with uh, just a few easy steps. Um, Alright, well, let's get started. Uh, we'll start with a just a blank document uh, with, a, with a black background. Uh, we'll create a new layer. Uh, don't worry about the the, uh, the, the layer name. Uh, I'm just gonna go OK. And uh, we'll use a brush tool and set the uh, brush size to be three pixel and 100% uh, hardness. And we'll choose a color. Uh, in this case, uh, we'll be using a yellowish color. Now, we'll hold down the shift key, and we're we'll, just gonna draw a upward um, line like this. Um, the reason we we hold down the shift key is that we can we can keep the line um, um, vertical and uh, without any interference. Um, Okay, so we'll be we'll add a uh, a layer mask on this line layer. We'll use a soft eraser. I'm gonna set the um, flow to about 40, 45 percent. We'll be and um, set the opacity to around seventy percent. We're just gonna erase the top part of this line. Uh, adjust the brush size, uh, eraser size as you see fit. And as, as you can see, we have a a um, very nice uh, chopped uh, line here. Um, now we'll use the uh, free transform tool. You can press Ctrl plus T to bring that up. We're going to rotate that slightly and to the right, like that. And I'm just going to duplicate this layer a few more times. Just um, increase the uh, opacity a bit. And we're just going to merge those duplicated layers. Uh, you can hold down the shift key and select the select all the layers here and it's gonna right click and go into merge layers now um, we can basically use the um, um, this uh, uh, 12 fi uh, filter here now it's gonna click on that one it's gonna basically apply a 50 degree angle uh, press OK and uh, you will see this line here uh, it's got some um, we now have some uh, curvy uh, shape now it's gonna rotate that again and uh, it's gonna use the eraser tool once more uh, with 70% uh, opacity and 45% flow settings it's going to erase that tape uh, so that fades into the background okay so we're just going to create a new layer we'll go back to the brush tool going to use a white color brush and we'll set the uh, tip size to be about 17 pixels. Um, it's going to do a single click on the tip end here. Now, we're just going to zoom in a little bit. Just going to bring up the free transform transform tool. We're going to use the this tool option here. It's just going to distort this shape. 
bit so it has a very nice tip here um, so hit enter uh, we're gonna use uh, the free transform tool again so control plus T uh, just gonna right click and go to warp it's gonna warp that shape to be roughly around the same shape as the base uh, as the baseline so like that so we'll have a very nice uh, little curvy line there it's gonna change the blending mode of this uh, white um, light layer uh, to overlay duplicate that once more uh, we'll set it back to normal uh, it's gonna decrease the opacity slightly to be about 65 percent and once we've done that it's gonna merge all the layers um, and uh, we'll have the following effect uh, as you can see here now we're just gonna duplicate this layer once more um, because we're gonna now gonna add some variety into it so we'll be using we'll just rotate that slightly uh, we'll hit we'll also just change the color of the line a bit so it's gonna um, ch hit control plus U Um, we're just gonna um, adjust the hue setting a bit uh, to make to change this color. So we're just gonna add a probably a just a slight orange line here. It's gonna duplicate that once more. Rotate that bit. Resize that. It's uh, gonna use. Control plus U, adjust this color a bit. Uh, once more, we duplicate that. Um, control plus U, yeah, can just change the color, just keep duplicating. Like that. So I'm just gonna change the color once more. So once we have a bunch, we can, we're just gonna make a new folder and put all this layer into the folder. I'm just gonna duplicate this whole group. So um, we can. And then we're just gonna um, merge group. Um, that way we can adjust the the color of all these five layers together, just to add more variety into the image. Can increase the size of that line even further. Uh, yeah, just keep duplicating and adjust the color. Here's the one version I have um, with the patterns. There's another version. Now, as you can see, there's a difference between the tip, uh, the tip of the uh, of those lines. Now, 
The reason there's a difference is because the the blending mode of this light layer in in this version I keep that I keep the the normal um, I keep the uh, blending mode of the light layer as normal uh, in this version here I just set I just basically set the blending mode of that last um, um, highlight layer to be um, white uh, to be sorry to be uh, to be overlay um, and uh, that way there's no um, uh, white uh, that's why there's no white bits in the end uh, it's totally up to you to use whatever blending mode you prefer um, so the if and you have uh, similar effects um, uh, to as to those uh, images here um, yeah so hopefully you enjoying this tutorial and uh, and uh, yeah keep uh, practicing and uh, you will get better with uh, Photoshop thanks have a nice day